mine is an interesting story. Ron McNair, the late great Dr. Ron McNair, who became a friend of mine uh, many years ago and, and unfortunately was killed on the Challenger accident, uh, was my inspiration for becoming an astronaut. I, I never dreamed of being one until I met him when I was a test pilot. He challenged me to apply for the space shuttle program. So that's how I happened to apply and that's how I happened to be here. You know, I think, if anything, flying in space changed my perspective uh, on our planet. Um, I was always one that had been raised in a family that was relatively religious and, um, and uh, studious, if you will. Uh, but just having the opportunity to view the planet from the, from the perspective of space really changed the way I looked at, at the, the planet on which we live. You always remember two things. You always remember your last flight and your first flight. And uh, I would have to go back to just after main engine cutoff on my very first flight on STS-61C aboard Columbia. Um, when we, back then you didn't roll up right, so you were still upside down when you got to orbit. And I remember raising my seat, looking out, seeing the British Isles go by, and then this huge island uh, that turned out to be the continent of Africa. Uh, I had done a lot of study on the geography of Africa to try to prepare myself because I knew my, my folks had come from that, from that continent and some countries down there. So I knew where all the countries were and I looked out and it was just huge Sahara Desert, then the Midland part, the equatorial region of Africa, and no lines down there at all, no countries, no anything. I was just wiped out and I was overcome with emotion one at looking at, at, at Africa, you know, my home country or my home continent, if you will. Uh, just overcome with emotion and I, I just remember tears coming down my face. You know, I think the, among the lessons that I try to employ are, are those that have to do with people. Um, I talk to people quite a bit about one of my most memorable experiences in my time in the astronaut office being the, the two-year period of time uh, in which I was involved in training for my last flight, STS-60, when I actually had an opportunity to meet and serve with uh, Sergei Krikalov and Vladimir Titov, two Russian cosmonauts, former Soviet cosmonauts who came to the United States with their families and lived in Houston with us for uh, a little bit more than two years. And it was during that period of time that we got to know each other, our families got to know each other very, very well. And I got what I always knew, you know, an appreciation for the, for the human spirit, uh, the fact that though we may be different uh, for a lot of different reasons, whether it's national, origin or ethnicity or whatever, that essentially we're all the same when we focus on a similar mission.